from an IIT Greater Noida. Uh, today, in signal systems, we will discuss analysis and characterization of LGI system using Laplace transform. So, let us take a block diagram of an LGI system. Uh, consider xt and yt are input and output of an LPI system system with its impulse response with its impulse response HP. So then if its input is XT and we have considered its output as YT, that means response of this system is YT, then the output of this system can be defined by taking convolution of HT and input signal XT, where XT is input to the LPI system and XT is the impulse response of the system. So, we can also find that yt will be equal to integral of h tau into x t minus tau d tau by using the formula of convolution of two signals. So, if we continue with this equation, then again We can write yt equal to st convolved with xt and suppose we are taking Laplace transform of this equation, then we will get then we will get the Laplace transform of yt will be equal to Laplace transform of xt and convolved with signal xt. So, we can also write Laplace transform of yt will be equal to the Laplace transform of xt into Laplace transform of xt by using convolution property of Laplace transform. By using convolution property of Laplace transform. So, we can write now, y s equal to h s into x s, where h s is the Laplace transform of x t and x s is the Laplace transform of x t. So, we can also write from this equation that h s will be equal to y s upon x s. That means we can say that h s is the ratio of y s to the x s. Here, HS is termed as either system function or transfer function of this LPI system. So, we can also say, we can also say that the HS that means transform function of the system may be the ratio of Laplace transform of output to the, of the system and to the Laplace transform of input to the system. So, now we will discuss impulse response of LDI system. And it's a step response. When we are talking about impulse response of the system, that means HT. So in this case, when when 